Sometimes when the day becomes a little bit too much, you just need to escape reality and find a magical, mysterious and enchanted place to spend your day and find out what it is you truly enjoy and makes you happy. And that's why today's texture pack that we're reviewing for Throwback Thursday is called Enchanted Forest by GOE Craft. It's currently rated 4.3 stars out of 5 stars from 1,607 reviews. And it currently costs 990 mine tokens, which is equivalent to £4.99 in my local currency. And it says, Adventure into a magical forest with this intricate texture pack. The exquisitely detailed textures transform your world and take you on an enchanted adventure. I struggle to say that. Perfectly refined 64 by 64 textures, useful for creative survival and PvP, super popular medieval Java pack, vanilla friendly by Fainting Goat and GOE. The builds in the panorama are not included in the offer. Let's get this texture pack reviewed. I'm sure you guys know by now and if you don't you'll catch on very quickly we are starting in the menus and we immediately don't have any changes to the menus no changes to the buttons no changes to the imagery at the background or the title card so we're just going to jump in and see what happens as we load in please do leave a like on the video if you enjoy this and if you enjoy this texture pack review if you don't enjoy the texture pack remember that's not my fault please don't dislike the video because of that but if you don't like the review, feel free to let me know. And if you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button. Now, I was expecting, based solely on the thumbnail for this texture pack, this to have a kind of Shrek vibe. I feel like the font is in Shrek. It feels very Shreky looking at the words Enchanted Forest on the thumbnail. But here, it feels a little bit more drearier and darker than I expected, to be honest with you. We seem to have a bit of a jungle over there, a little bit of a birch forest over there maybe even a bit more jungle over there so we've got a little bit of everything the different greens they're looking nice but they definitely feel darker uh, more ominous than i was expecting from an enchanted forest so i'll be interested to see how that goes water looking quite nice to be honest with you though the water does look very very nice but i'm not going to waste your time here let's head down there let's see what the blocks look like closer and then let's see what passive mobs look like So we'll head to the darker area in this birch forest biome and immediately got very detailed grass right here. This grass is very overgrown, isn't it? Looking at that, we've got some flowers here. Flowers looking very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Birch is even a nice design. The leaves are a little bit, I'm not 100% sure about looking at them. Weird little kind of veiny effect when you look through the transparency as well, but then you can see what you're looking for. Okay, oh, we've got a cow over here. Definitely looks intricately designed. Oh, we've got a cow and a chicken here. Okay. Oh, all right. So the face is a little bit... Uh huh. Okay, I like the colors. I like the specks or the speckled nature on the cow. I do like that. It feels like they've gone for a bit of a photorealism. It says it's perfectly refined 64 by 64 textures. That is a demon face, man. Minecraft texture packs do not know how to make faces at all. I'm sorry. Look, even the chicken's face was a little bit scary. They do have a brown chicken, which is very, very good. Here, what do you get when you combine a brown cow and a brown chicken? Brown chicken, brown cow. All right, terrible job. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I apologize. I'm very, very sorry. Um, Yeah, I like the brown, the chicken. <laughs> how do we move on from that? Uh compared to the normal minecraft white chicken i do prefer this variation of it the faces are crazy man i'm sorry they are very very crazy the grass is very noisy very noisy not necessarily bad just very noisy there's a bee over here as well we never look at bees okay that's not the scariest looking bee in the world i can deal with that that's very nice all right let's head over to this more kind of brighter green area same texture on the grass got some vines grass vines right yeah that is vines yeah we've got some vines growing on here we've got some cats maybe some ocelots depending on how you look at it a jungle's not really where we want to be though but i mean oh look at we've got the mushroom over here as well purple mushroom 
would look at home. It's a brown mushroom, apparently. That would look at home in the nether, if I was being honest with you, which I always am. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not what I expected, I have to admit. A lot darker, a lot drearier. Oh, what's going on down here? All right, that looks like stone. We'll probably see more of that later on. Um, yeah, oh, we've got a panda over here. I hope you guys can tell this is fully not what I expected. Obviously, I just make kind of assumptions. Oh, look at his eyes. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, he looks so sad. Um, I just make assumptions based on, like, the thumbnail when I do these texture pack reviews. I don't look at them beforehand. So this is my immediate reaction. And I'm just a little bit taken back. The, the thumbnail is so bright and vibrant. This definitely isn't. But, yeah. It's made me a little bit speechless. Do we have any pigs or sheeps around? Okay, so I've had to travel quite a bit of a way to make the game spawn in a pig. And we got what looks to be more of a warthog than a pig in reality. I mean, look, you've got the tusks going on. We've got the brown pig. I feel like I've seen this pig in other texture packs or at least something similar. The face is crazy, though. What is going on with those eyes? Genuinely, what is going on with those eyes? Very nice sunflowers, though. I like the design of the pig, but that face, I don't know if I could play in this world, to be honest with you. Do we have any sheeps in here? I normally like the magical fantasy style texture packs, and this has obviously survived the test of time to still be rated a 4.3 outside or from one, one and a half thousand reviews. So I don't feel like I can really trash it. It's just not what I've expected at all. We've got the sheep. What is that face? <laughs> what happened to you oh buddy i'm so sorry that face is that face is crazy very nice texture on on the sheep's fur or wool even but yeah um all right the sheep is not really for me this is yeah this has taken a complete left turn down an avenue i wasn't expecting a lot darker than i expected it to look but we'll carry on anyway let's find a village and let's see what villagers look like Okay, so we've got a little village over here. And immediately, I really like this. My initial in like feelings and my initial inclinations, I'm really liking the browns here of like the oak stairs and then of the oak log itself and then with the oak planks. Loving this window here. This just plain glass pane. Very, very nice. What is this? Cobblestone. Okay. Cobblestone looking... All right, that looks a little bit more bricky than cobblestone. But it's not bad at all. Look at this door. All right, now that feels enchanted right there. That door feels like that's being held together by some magic right there. We've got, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, first question, what's going on with your hands? Second question, what's going on with your face? All right. Um, okay. So, like, mm, all right. Um, I really do understand why some texture packs put hats on their villages just to try and hide the, the cubed nature i mean i don't mean to insult you to your face my friend you're beautiful okay you're absolutely beautiful uh, um yeah just keep telling him he's beautiful okay uh as we carry on around the path block i'm not sure why it's blue but it's nice i like this this dirt path is very very nice indeed look at this door yeah this door is good i like this door the bed looks okay, blends in with the wood. Okay, I love these windows. Look at these little windows here. This would be at home in like a hobbit a hobbit hole or something, you know. That looks really, really nice. We've got the sun going down, so we need to be a bit quicker. Uh, we've got some hay bales out here. Not bad at all. Oh, oh, wow. There is a lot going on here. Okay, so the iron golem, what happened to your face? What happened? To your face okay you look like like a, a spell went wrong or something mate all right um okay you've got this thing peering this is like it's a stunning design absolutely stunning design i really like this the only thing i would say is it looks more like a tree golem than an iron golem but it looks very very nice indeed what is going on over here is that your hair okay all right, I mean, these, these are more of the, like, magical, fantastical changes that I was kind of expecting when I loaded up the pack. Not so dark and dreary. I feel like a lot of these block combinations work really well. Faces are a write-off in this texture pack. 
I'm kind of happy we're not going to see too many more faces after the next section. But yeah, I kind of like this. The hostile mobs are circling. So let's go and check them out. Okay, so the Iron Golem managed to clear out a load of zombies. So we'll have to see them soon. We've got a spider over here, blue tinted. The blue tint just adds magic to everything, doesn't it? That is a nice little whirlpool design on the back there. The eyes are, yeah, that's nightmare fuel. Okay. What we got going on down here? Why are these zombies chasing that cow? Oh, they're not. Okay. Oh, they're chasing what's going on. No, I don't really know. Okay. Oh, there's so much to look at. All right, let's have a little look at this zombie first. Hey, how you doing? Why are they, what? They're like werewolves. They've got like werewolf faces. No, they've got like cow face. What is going on here? What is this zombie supposed to be? This is a zombie, right? Yeah, this is just a zombie. Okay. What is going on? Look, you've got the hair, like a werewolf. The outfit looks, oh, they've broken in. Um. Okay, yeah, the outfit looks nice. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry we couldn't save you, bro. Um, Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Uh, Okay, creeper. We've got this creeper down here. This creeper looks amazing. I really like this creeper. A little bit dark. Could do with a little bit of vibrancy added in there. But look at the magical stuff. Like it's That is really, really nice. I like that. This pack is definitely coming into its own here. We've got skeletons. Oh, what is going on here? Hi. A skeleton spawner. Is that a helmet or do you have hair? That might be a helmet. I'm not 100% sure. Loving the ice white going on here as well. The transparency is good. The eyes are nice. Yeah, I like, I like that, you know. I really do like that. It's a nice bow as well. I like that. Have we looked at everybody? I think we've looked at everybody here. There's a lot more magical enchanted stuff going on here with the hostile mobs. You have to admit that. And it's a, it's a win for me. I think he was wearing a helmet. I don't think that skeleton had hair. I think that was a helmet. But I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I like these, you know. The only thing that's questionable for me here was the zombie's face. Is it a werewolf? Is it a cow? I don't know. But it looks nice. Let's head out into the ocean. Let's go underwater. Let's see what an ocean monument looks like. And let's see what drowned and guardians look like. Okay, so we're popping a night vision potion just to get a better look above ground. Okay, does nothing looking too crazy out of place here. It looks kind of nice. I think we're going to have a happy prismarine down here. Let's get under here. It's quite a shallow ocean monument, the way it's spawned in. Ooh, look at the animation right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice, man. That is really, really nice. Okay, that is a nice lantern. Prismarine bricks don't look very bricky, but it's a very good texture prismarine itself all right we're a bright green here oh we're going blue we're going blue yes we've got animation yeah okay i like that i like that i'm easily pleased man i like that these are nice block designs i like these where's that dark prismarine through here all right very basic dark prismarine they haven't really changed dark prismarine here that prismarine that lantern very very nice though i am a, a big fan of that we've got a guardian in here more of that enchanted blue not bad at all there you know that is not terrible but a drowned going in here again kind of looking like a cow's face not sure what's going on with your faces here and yeah look yeah okay so it, it is a bit of a copy paste from a zombie i suppose they are cousins to the zombie aren't they really but i would like have liked a bit more differential oh, there's some purple in this as well okay interesting very nice i'm i'm, I'm liking what i see here though i am liking what i see here Let's get under here. That is such a nice effect there, though. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Hi. Sorry. Um, it's a nice design. That's all I can say about that. It is a nice design. The ice white with the blue enchantment. Yeah, I like that. Again, the only thing I can really fault the zombie face and the drowned face, not for me, but everything else I really, really like. And it's feeling a lot more enchanted as we go in further into the review. Let's head over to the armory now and let's see what the armors and the weapons look like. Okay, so we are at the armory now and wow. Look at those paintings. 
They, these paintings are beautiful. GOE Craft, please, whenever I see paintings I like, please let me know who designed these paintings so I can give them their credit. This is amazing artwork right here. Wow, okay. Um, let's get to the armors as we're here. This is a very kind of a weird leather armor. A lot of strapping, a lot of bits of fabric put together. Not my favorite leather armor there, if I have to be completely honest with you. It feels more like it's like bobbed together, I guess. I can't tell. Is that supposed to be a sword or is that part of the wrapping? I don't know. Interesting. The colors looking nice though. Uh, in terms of the weaponry, very twiggy for the wood tools. Interesting. Loving the armor stands though. They are very nice. It's a nice design though with the kind of the way the twigs have been molded. Is very, very nice. Let's see how this continues. We've got uh chain mail here not a fan of that no transparency at all leather shoes as well for some reason um yeah i'm not a fan of that my love for transparency is definitely well known um these are stone tools now okay so they've kept the twig design for the handles and stuff interesting all right i don't think it's perfectly the same no there's definitely changes there We've got uh, iron here now. All right, yeah, we're definitely stepping up as we go. That is a nice upgrade to a more solid weapon set. Iron armor, definitely not there though. What is this? Exposed back, mostly. Kind of like jewelry instead of a helmet. Not a fan of these armors, if I have to be completely honest with you. We've got gold here now. Again, a nice little change. These are starting to feel a little bit more epic. I don't like gold. This isn't gold. It's like a purple tunic with some gold jewelry. That's not armor. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Diamond, nice colors on the weapons. Again, loving this kind of twiggy design. It just makes it feel more mysterious, I guess. Hating the armor though, I really am. It's just different types of jewelry with a different outfit. Not a fan of this. Neverite though, Neverite looking nice. It's like a stained glass effect. That looks really nice. That does look nice. The armor, again, that not liking it. So I don't like any of the armors in the armory, which is definitely a shame. The weapon sets are nice. There's good progression from like um, wood to stone to iron to gold to diamond to neverite. Very good pro progression. Very nice designs. Neverite, I think, is my favorite weapon set. I don't have a favorite armor set. Let's head over to the gold armors with diamond armor trims. All right, so we're here with what they say is gold armors. It's a purple tuxedo. Uh, in terms of the trims, huh. almost non-existent. You've got them down there and you've got them on the arms. A little bit more of a change there. I can't tell if it's just the way the layering is done that you can only see them in certain areas or if there's, oh, that's very nice. That's a nice block. Um, but they're almost non-existent again another disappointing armor trim there oh hang on but you can see it on the helmets look you can see it there that's changed there okay so that's nice the helmets are a nice discreet change but there isn't much of anything else it is a very discreet change though again it's another disappointing section for me uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments while you do that we'll head over to the red zone and we'll see what redstone looks like. Okay, so we are in the red zone. Or should I say a blue zone today? Because redstone is blue. At least the block is blue. Huh. Not sure how I feel about that. Because redstone is redstone because it's red. Um, the actual redstone dust is red. So maybe it's like a magical block that when you shave it turns red. I don't know. I'm trying to make law here. Uh, the comparators looking, or the repeaters, sorry, looking a little bit weird. Uh, but they get this little effect here when they're on and powered. Interesting. Nice little effect on the hoppers here, though. I like that. Again, the bluestone. The, um, the, what is this called? Hopper. I didn't mean hopper. I meant piston. That's why I got confused. The pistons look nice. The hoppers looking very clean rails oh wow okay rails looking like a pebble path they've completely changed rails here oh how must how would that look hang on 
when it's going over it uh couldn't really see anything there in all honesty um let me get rid of this the 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 again i'm completely confused here the mine carts they look quite nice though they've got nice little designs on them and stuff i need to stop recording these videos after a full 12 hour day at work but it is what it is they look very nice tnt looking kind of cool okay the observer looking like a face that's all i asked for dispensers and droppers looking all right nothing too crazy that is a very weird looking target block um and the daylight sensors looking mysterious look oh look you get a little sundial there when it's looking for sunlight you get a little moon there when it's looking for nightlight that's interesting okay yeah nothing too crazy that i just don't know how i feel about having blue redstone i don't know how i feel let me know what you guys think let's head back to the main world let's go to the nether okay so we're heading into the nether now and i honestly have no idea what to expect here it's been a bit up and down in the main world Ooh, okay crimson nylium all right so does that mean we're in the red biome the red biome looking blue if we are in the red biome you've got the obsidian portal looking clean and then the actual portal itself looking more like a glass window not terrible though this thing is very much this texture pack is very much loving blue though isn't it like this weeping vines i'm sure this is the blue biome i'm sure it is oh hello we've got a hoglin piglin here sorry not a hoglin piglin with a little mace in his hand okay what is this effect going on here though they look like dogs i don't get it with this like exposed furry skin interesting what's this crimson fungus see the crimson is making me think this is the red biome never warp block yeah so even never warp which should be red is blue hmm okay it all look flame wait are we on soul sand here no never act flame is blue as well why is it so blue like you can see look the never is trying to be red and it's just a whole load of blue and then when we get to the blue biome i need to learn these biomes warped warp okay and warped nylium it's a bit more of a minty green okay what's this up here is this glowstone no this would be a shroom light right yeah okay shroom lights all right oh this is glowstone up here yeah the ice white and the blue really taking over the ambience of the texture pack interesting do we have a ghast around okay so rather shockingly i've flown for hours and have actually come across a fortress before i've come across a ghast i'm sure we will see a ghast at some point we have got the wither skeleton here okay i don't know how much of a copy and paste that is from a normal skeleton but it definitely is darker okay i like the little markings on his forehead as well it's a shame they don't seem to oh they do they do go onto his um onto his scalp as well that's good the blaze again very dark oh what is going why are you smiling at me that is that is a horror fueled imagine you're being attacked by a load of blazes and you get that face oh i wasn't expecting that okay it just feels very gloomy doesn't it the bricks the mobs they all feel very gloomy like turn up the vibrancy a little bit make things a little bit more brighter that would do a very very nice still no sign of a ghast here i don't want to spawn in the wither until we see a ghast all right so we finally managed to spawn in a ghast immediately it's looking kind of off whitish oh no i think i just got a glimpse of his face turn around you ugly fool what is that it's the absolute void of nothingness oh i don't like that i don't like that the only way this could be worse is if the eye opened up and you saw an actual eye i do not like that at all oh what have you done what have you done hopefully the wither will look a bit better what is this block hang on blackstone oh blackstone looking very nice indeed okay um let's get this in here soul sand not what i expected that to look like at all very enchanted very stylish we've got the wither spawn now trying to run away this is always an exciting and nervous part how do you look Ooh. okay so it's not pure black it's more brown and then look at that face look at that face if i can get him to slow down a little bit mate 
But yeah, he's got the blue eyes, the kind of enchanted face. Where are you? Come here. All right, that's he even looks like he's smiling. That's kind of scary right there. In all honesty, that little smile on his face is devilish. Oh, okay. The never not as much of an amazement as I expected it to look. It's still very dark and gloomy. Still a few weird design choices as well, to be honest with you. Let's head over to the end to see what the Ender Dragon looks like and what end cities look like. Okay, so we're heading into the end and that was a very quick load. Okay, you get more of the obsidian. Looks kind of nice, kind of swirly, kind of nice. End stone has a blue effect to it as well. I don't know if that's coming across in the video, but it definitely feels a bit more bluey. Loads of swells. We've got the Enderman as well, which I've been purposefully ignoring all video so we can see here. Oh, the fa this texture pack does not do faces well. I'm so sorry, GOE Craft. I love you. You do more good than bad, but you don't do faces well in this texture pack. The blue swells are nice. I hope blue is your favorite color if you're going to use this texture pack. I really do. Um, speaking of, here we go. We've got kind of like a gray slash ice white Ender Dragon with some really nice blue wings okay those are really nice blue wings i like the color scheme here you know the white into the darker gray into the blue come on look come back down here so i can see your face please all right not too much going on in terms of eyes quite a pure skin but it's a very nice color gradient i do kind of like that let's find an end city now Okay, so we've got an end city spawning in now. And for those of you who like to travel through the end on like a flying machine, the void is just pure black. There's no nasty rendering or anything like that. It's absolutely fine to travel through. We've got blue chorus plants and chorus fruits, which is not to be, well, which is to be expected really is what I meant to say. Still got purple. It's a darker purple, not too vibrant, not too bright when it comes to the purple, which is nice. The end rods have this little blue kind of enchanted bleed effect, which is also really nice. The blue, when it's work, when it's used in minimal like bits, is very nice. What is this? Endstone bricks even gets a little bit of a blue. That is kind of nice. Magenta glass as well. That kind of stuff is really, really nice. But some of the blue choices has been very weird. Um, do we have a shulker around yet yeah, on here? I like this kind of blue stone, you know, I wouldn't use it as a building effect for a wall, but this would be a really nice floor. Um, covered in blue here as well. Like it's like a blue gem style or like corruption even. It does look nice. No real effect on the show car. I could just do with them turning up the vibrancy or the brightness a little bit though. It does feel just dreary. It doesn't make you feel happy. The thumbnail is bright and fun and colorful it makes you feel happy you know like i said gives off that shrek vibe then you come into the texture pack it's all dark and gloomy and blue not the most fun uh let's go and find the ancient city let's see what the warden is like and let's get this texture pack finished okay so we're in the ancient city now let's light this up and to nobody's surprise there is a lot of blue here we've got a blue skulk not one of the most skulk heavy ancient cities that we've been in but there is definitely blue all over the place what is this deep slate bricks also has this kind of pebble effect that feels quite consistent throughout what is this on here cracked deep slate tiles is more bricky okay that's interesting what have we got here what is this chiseled deep slate gets the blue effect there doesn't seem to be any variations going on here but it is kind of nice i mean it's it's a bit blue overload the whole texture pack is a bit blue overload in honesty um but it's not terrible got that weird kind of rendering effect going on there as well okay that's interesting let's get the warden in here okay so we've got the warden about to spawn i'm gonna guess it's blue yeah it's blue okay oh it's got a little starlight effect going on him oh he looks quite polished in fact quite smooth and polished like in the horns it's not too crazy very it feels quite minimalistic in fact to be honest with you. i don't know if this is supposed to reflect this shulk shulk skulk is what i meant that's a nice chest okay yeah it's got that kind of like moonlight enchanted night kind of style to it 
all right not too bad it's a nice effect not too bad so in terms of what would i give this texture pack out of 10 because i know that's what you guys are all here for you don't want to see the texture pack you want to hear what i give it right i'm leaning towards 7 out of 10 a strong 7 out of 10 but I haven't quite been able to convince myself to make it an 8 out of 10, which is crazy because it's rated a 4.3 out of 5, which if you doubled it, that's a 9.6 out of 10, right? And if that's what the people say, then the people are right. 100%, they're correct. Everybody is more right than me. The reason why I give it a 7 is because I can see the work that's been put into it. I can see the care and the attention. I can see the design choices. I can see that this doesn't look like it's just been flubbed together and ignored but i don't like how dark it is compared to the thumbnail i don't like how dreary and kind of devoid of fun and happiness it feels the mobs didn't inspire me too crazy the faces were more nightmare fuel than exciting in most cases um and i just couldn't see myself playing in this texture pack and there are some really good stuff which is why it is definitely a strong seven maybe on another day i'll rate this and think it's an eight i wouldn't go higher than an eight myself i mean no offense by that let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this texture pack remember if you think it's higher or lower than me you're right i'm wrong remember to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed this texture pack review and if you're new around here please do hit the subscribe button i believe we're so close to 2600 subscribers now could be even more i'm not even sure um but yeah we're definitely close to another milestone so please do consider yeah we're close to 2600 subscribers so please do consider becoming a dazzling today thanks for watching everybody and peace